Three minutes, ten seconds, one ball off. Nicely done. Go ahead and hoist it up and swing over to the star circle for the office for the zigzag. Hi, I'm Tudor Van Hampton, ENR's equipment editor. With all the crane accidents that have happened this year, one thing people are talking about a lot is training. Training for operators, training for the men and women on the ground. So to get an idea for what crane operator training and testing is all about, I decided to enroll for a week at the Tower Crane School of Phoenix. And later on in a couple of days, I'm actually going to take my practical and written exam. And we'll see how I do. You know, I realize that you're uh, here for six, 60 hours and uh, it seems like a very, very short time, but you, you yourself must pass that written exam, and that will demonstrate that you have understood the rules and regulations. And when you're capable of passing the practical exam, you've also demonstrated that you have basic crane skills, that you are teachable to go on to the next step. Uh, the first challenge in operating a tower crane, of course, is getting up in the tower crane. This one's only about 80, 90 feet up in the air, but whew, I'm already winded. I'm gonna give it another try. And if I make it through this time and don't hit anything, I'm gonna try to take my practical today. That's two days ahead. All right, zigzag forward, are you ready? I never dreamed at this point that I'd be taking my practical today. It's just, I mean, when I was here on Tuesday, two days ago, uh -huh. I, I never dreamed that I'd be able to, that I'd be this far along already. All right, so here I go. This part of the test is what Ronnie, our teacher, calls walking the dog. You inch the load out ever so slightly, wait for the load to swing out, get control, and then inch it out a little more. It is kind of like walking a dog, a really big, heavy dog. Oh, sh not good, not good. You got to trolley it in, son. That was not good. I kind of circumvented the course there. What about eating lunch? The tower crane operators always eat lunch up here, or they come down yeah. to lunch? Most of us, uh, a lot of times, uh, you don't even get a break because the other subcontractors get the opportunity to use the crane. So you learn to take a bite and, and work, take a little bite and work. It's very tedious, especially when the schedule is very intense. There's just not enough crane time. So if it sets for five minutes, people get concerned. You know, they want it moving. When it's moving, it's production. I got a little too cocky. You get cocky in these cranes and it's all over. You can't, you gotta be humble pie in these things. You gotta take it easy, you gotta take your time. There's no speeding in these machines. Now I'm doing better now that I'm taking my time. And bullseye. I might have to wait till Saturday. I don't think I'm ready yet. It's safer for you. Ronnie told me is that people who work on cranes or operate cranes can make a lot of money. So, how much money can you make in a crane business? Oh man, that's a ambiguous question. Depends on where you at, how many hours you work. Mm -hmm. But certainly, it's easy to make six figures if you're getting a lot of hours in and you're in the right part of the country. You know, there's people back east that probably do a buck fifty some years. It's possible. A buck fifty. <laughs> hey, you're getting the training, you can do it pretty soon. <laughs> what do you do when you gotta go? Empty it, then use it. And then what do you do with it when you're done? Carry it down? That is the polite thing to do. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, but the unfortunate thing is when you tell them, give me five minutes, and you look down and everyone is looking up, and you can't even get five minutes of silence. He wants you to hoist up. So did you ever thought that you would get this far in a crane in a short amount of time? No. Ready? I'm ready. So it, it's not like that it takes, you used to learn the fundamentals and then the rest is to just get a little better and a little better with a little more confidence. But every time that weight moves, you, you just become part of a hand up here. That was good. See, so you just go back and forth on the course, and then you, pretty soon it becomes second nature. There you go. Go catch up with your swing there to trolley. 
Yeah. And how you, you move this thing not mm. That's the oh, thing not. I try to get everybody doing where they can they don't actually stop the swing whatsoever. Look at that. Hold, hold on, hold on, don't talk to, to me. Get you to stop, stop. How do you think I do this? Swing. Right, okay. Swing. Swing the crane. You got to get the swing going first. And go. Swing, 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 swing. Click the trolley a couple times. Swing. There you are. Now wait on it. Now let's go back. It's hard when you're talking to me like that. Hmm? If you're an anal person, you are here. I tell you not to swing. You say, yeah, I got it, I got it. And you took out the other ones. I got you in trouble. I got you in trouble, Tudor. <laughs> Tudor. <laughs> Missed it. Damn it. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Man, fair. that was good. Oh, you're going to come back and knock everything down. It's not fair, Ronnie. <laughs> I can't believe I just operated a crane. That was the best run I've had yet. And I'm only three days into this. Uh, I think I'm going to be ready for my test on Saturday for sure.